In this video, I'm going to show you how you can pay off your credit card account by transferring money from a bank account into your credit card. So right now we have our bank account and our credit card account, two different journals, one's of type credit card, one of type bank and cash. The first thing we'll do is create a couple of vendor payments with our credit card. So we'll just quickly go to vendor payments make a few payments to our vendors we'll make sure this journal is our credit card journal that we're removing money from then we're sending it to our vendor so we'll uh, confirm this one and we'll just make one more So now we've paid our vendor a total of $150. We do everything as normal. This will this bank statement will come into our system or we'll create it manually and we'll say we've paid $150 to our vendor. So we'll do minus 100 and minus 50. We'll post this and we'll reconcile our few items that we have here. All right, so now we have an outstanding balance of $150 in our credit card. What we wanna do now is pay off this credit card by receiving money from our bank account, and then we'd reconcile that payment from our bank inside of our credit card and the, the money coming out of our bank inside of our bank account. In order to do this, the first thing we need to make sure that we have is an account number on our journals. So if we go into our bank journal, we want to make sure that we have an account number set here. So we'll just add an account number. And we want to do the same thing on our credit card. This allows us to make internal transfers to these account numbers. So now in our bank account, we're going to send money through via an internal transfer to our credit card. So we'll click new internal transfer and we'll send money, which is going to be $150 so we can pay off our credit card. And it's going to come from our bank journal and our destination journal is going to be our credit card account. Now we want to confirm this. If we take a look in our outstanding payments and receipt, we have 150 going or leaving the bank account going to our credit card account. So now when our bank statements come in, we can create a new bank statement. We'll say this is zero. And we'll say payment 150. And we'll post this. When we reconcile, we'll see this $150 payment transferred to credit card. So this is coming from our bank account to our credit card. So we'll validate that. And of course, on the other side, we'll have a statement line come in from our bank account that $150 was leaving our uh, bank statement or our bank account in order to pay that credit card. So this is a payment to credit card for $150. And we'll post that, reconcile, and that credit card payment is right there for that transfer. And now we see the outstanding receipts and payments account, they're zero, the credit card account is zero. Our balance in our GL is 99850 for our bank account and our outstanding balance for our credit card is zero.